Okay, boys and girls, it's story time. So today, this is our story that I'm going to read to you. It's called Clifford for President. And since today is election day, we're gonna read this special story and learn a little bit about what a president does. So we see Clifford, he's the red dog on the cover. Let's see what happens in this story. Clifford for president. On Monday morning, Miss Carrington's class learned about the presidential election. Every citizen 18 and older can vote, said Miss Carrington. It's an important part about being a good citizen. People who run for president are called candidates, said Miss Carrington. They promise to solve problems. People vote for the candidate who they think will do the best job. Hmm. I wish I was old enough to vote, thought Emily Elizabeth. So she wants to vote, but she's too little. The next day, Emily Elizabeth and Clifford went for a walk in the park. Every trash can was overflowing with garbage. That doesn't look very nice, said Emily Elizabeth. What can they do? The park was very messy. There were piles of leaves and litter everywhere. Dead flowers drooped in their beds. Clifford dropped a soda can in the trash. Emily Elizabeth said, Clifford, if you were president of the park, it would be as clean as a whistle. Then... She had an idea. Hmm. So Clifford's making a good choice. At home, Emily Elizabeth got out paint and paper. We'll have an election, Clifford, she said. We need a president of the park. Jetta saw the posters hanging in the park. You'd be a great president, Mac, said Jetta. You're the dog for the job. So this girl is in the park with her dog, Mac. And she thinks that her dog will be a better president than Clifford. So we're going to see which dog is the better president or who will win the vote. So we did some voting in school and voting happens many times in many places. A crowd of kids and dogs showed up for the meeting. First, we need to nominate two candidates, explained Emily Elizabeth. Then we'll have the election on Friday. So there's all the dogs that they're gonna vote for. Jetta called out, I nominate Mac. I nominate Clifford, said Emily Elizabeth. Then she wished Mac good luck. Thanks, said Jetta. Emily Elizabeth and Jetta worked on posters together. Emily Elizabeth's poster read, Clifford for president. He will clean up the park. Jetta's poster read, vote for Mac. He's the best dog, Jetta said. Mac really is the best. I'm sure he will win. Hmm, so one of the dogs is helpful because he cleans up the park. But what about this dog that she has, Mac? Did he clean up the park? Hmm, what will he do to help? The president is someone who will help with problems. Clifford is a great dog too, said Emily Elizabeth. Jetta said, Mac will be president. May the best dog win, replied Emily Elizabeth. That night, Jetta made a few more posters. Now everyone will know you are the best, Mac. She hung the posters in the park. Hmm, are they being kind to one another? Not so much. It looks like they're not using nice words. and They might be yelling at each other. It's not a good choice. Right? And when we're voting, everyone gets to vote 
for their choice, even if someone doesn't like your choice. Just like when we voted yesterday for our snack, some people might have wanted graham crackers and other people wanted pretzels. But that's okay if someone wants something different than you. We still have to be kind. After school on Friday, Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford went to the park. It was election day. A crowd stood around Jetta. Clifford would not be a good president, she said. Mac is the best. So she's saying not nice things about Clifford. Not a good choice. Hmm. Let's see. She said, Clifford, no. Emily Elizabeth didn't say a thing. It's not nice to say bad things about your opponent, she thought. Jetta told everyone to vote for Mac. Mac wagged his tail. Some of Jetta's posters blew away. They got stuck in the high tree branches. Look at the park, boys and girls. There's garbage all around, right? Even the posters are in the trees, making it very messy. So Clifford is not helping to clean up. And the dog Mac is not cleaning, helping to clean up. So both of these dogs want to be president, but they're not helping the problem. Hmm, let's see what happens. Clifford pulled the posters out of the tree. They were so high up, even he had to stretch. And he's a big dog. Look at Clifford, shouted Charlie. He's cleaning the park. Hmm, so now they're noticing that he's cleaning. It's time to vote, said Charlie. He passed out slips of paper. Check off the name of the dog who will be the best president. So see the, the ballots, just like we voted. We had to choose one. After everyone had voted, Charlie counted the ballots. Everybody waited for the results. Who do you think will win, boys and girls? Do you think Clifford the dog will win or Mac the dog will win? So you're, you can take a guess. Which dog do you think will win the election? So they all voted. And now we will see who wins. And they have to count it up, just like we counted. Remember, there were seven votes for pretzel and one for graham cracker. <gasps> Clifford won! He gave Mac a friendly slurp. Clifford, you will be a great president, said Emily Elizabeth. Mac can be vice president. Hmm... How do you think Jetta is feeling? Look at her face. Do you think she's very happy that her dog did not win? She doesn't look too happy, but look at her puppy. Her dog seems happy, and he's happy for his friend Clifford. How is Emily Elizabeth feeling? She seems excited, right? That's a good feeling. Hooray for President Clifford! Now look at the park after Clifford is the president. It's nice and clean. So did he help solve the problem? He did help solve the problem. And we see his friend, Mac the dog, and he's happy. And his little um, tag says vice president. So he is going to help Clifford solve problems. The end. Clifford for president.